Welcome to our Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a look at importing and exporting fixture data or patch information. I have a design prepared here with some scenic elements and a stage, but no fixtures. Let's assume that we've received a file with patch information from somebody else. The file we've received is a CSV file. It could have come from the lighting console or another lighting design software. CSV files are text files in nature, and you can open them with most spreadsheet softwares. Let's take a look at the contents of the CSV file. It's organized as a number of columns and rows. The first column is the fixture column, followed by the circuit, channel, DMX columns, and so on. Moving downwards in the document, we find rows of information pertaining to four source force and two row B moving heads. As you can see, we have some relevant information in here, so let's import that into Capture. In Capture, we go to the File menu and select Import Fixture Data. We select the CSV file in question. And now we get asked a number of questions or are given the opportunity to make adjustments. Now, I know that in this case, everything will play out well if I simply press import. So let's get back to this dialog a little bit later. The next step before we're done is where we have the ability to override the fixture choices that come through this file. It could also be that the CSV file refers to fixture names that Capture doesn't recognize, in which case we may want to identify some of the fixtures. Here though, everything looks fine, so I shall proceed by pressing continue. Capture informs us that six fixtures were added. I can see the fixtures have appeared. And if we take a look in the fixtures tab, clearly there are four source force and two Roby Robin DLF washes. Now it could be that later on, or the next day perhaps, we receive an updated revision of the patch. Suppose, for instance, that some of the fixtures have been patched to another universe. What we can do then is use the same import feature with a new revision of the file with the purpose of updating the data. Now, in this case, it is important to pay attention to this choice here called Identify Fixtures By. It is crucial that the choice made here is data that has not been altered. In this case, we will be identifying fixtures by their circuit number, which we then have to be sure has not changed in the new revision of the file. I have been assured that only the patch has been changed, so I'll proceed by pressing import. Capture lets us know that six fixtures were updated. And looking at the patch information here, I can now see that the moving heads have been patched to universe B rather than universe A. Let's do the import once more, simply to show you the other options available in the import dialog. The lower section of the import dialog contains a listing of capture properties that could be read from the file in question. If capture does not find a column in the CSV file with this information, the label will say do not set. Capture does a good job at automatically matching data to the columns of the CSV file. So normally you do not need to override this, but you can go in and override the column choices that capture has made. Now let's take a look at exporting fixture data. This is done from the file menu using the choice export fixture data. We need to give the data a name. And then we have a few options available. In most cases, the defaults are fine. But if you are exporting for light write, there is a preferred option here where the column names have been specially adjusted for light write as well as some of the formatting of the column contents. There are also specialized XML exports available for Grandma2 and the HOG4. Let's proceed with the default settings. 
and take a look at the CSV file produced. Now you will recognize most of the data from the data we imported, but there are several more columns available now that were exported from Capture, including things like the optics and wattage. You can explore these uh, in your own pace, as well as the other export options, such as the Lightrite export available. Thank you for watching and see you soon.